Hey folks, welcome back to Shadow Empire. We are on round number 120. Oh man, this is like endgame territory. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys have been following the comments, but uh, there was what, uh, one of one of my viewers, Jay Heriter, or Jay Heriter, I think, has actually he took the game save. I gave him the game save that you know from the very very first turn, and he went and played it, and he completed the game by about turn 143. However, I don't think he would have made the same mistakes that I did with the, you know the whole ammo situation right at the start of the game. So I don't think it's possible for me to complete the game in, in 23 rounds. <laughs> so just have some realistic expectations about that, please. Um, let's see what happened in the last episode, uh, in the, over the last turn. As you can see, we've got a bit of a... This, these guys just sent out a suicide squad to try and cut me off, which worked quite well by the looks of it. Um, but we can, we can manage. It's not the end of the world. Let's have a look at the vidcom. Uh, yeah, Zaloro territory has violated our borders and declared war on us. Uh, we are in a full-blown time of relative calm. Uh, we've discovered lightweight alloys, so this is going to be a, an aircraft tech, a linear tech, and then we've got a bunch of cards. History-wise, I'm just going to play this through. Okay, so uh, yeah, we actually we got attacked by uh, 1800 Heckler 3s. What are those things? Okay, so these are a first in independent machine gun regiment, so... Is that right? Units attacking... Yeah, okay. Yeah, so Heckler 3s. They, yeah, they, this, this is a regiment size unit they attacked us with. And we lost a lot of troops here. So, as you can see, yeah, we lost 400 troops, but we stood firm. And, yeah, that was mostly... Minotaurs, uh, ARPG 3s and Zero Gun 4s. A little bit, some of these, these troops are a little bit out of date. You know, stand like Minotaurs, like our first infantry unit. I think those must have been... Uh, they, they would have been militia, I guess. Let's have a look at that, actually. Were they militia? No. Oh, no, yeah, the 7th Minos, uh, Minos Extra Militia Regiment. So there we are. Those guys broke and ran, as expected. Okay, let's continue. That's such a good feature, this, being able to see the battle report. I'm so glad Vic took the time and energy to, or effort to make that. It's just, it's improved the game no end. It really has improved the game no end. Okay, yeah, look, these guys sent out a spare part in that direction. Um, I mean, they must know that doing this is going to is going to be suicide for them. I don't know why, I don't know why the AI does that. <laughs> well, I do. I suppose they, they've got to try and win somehow. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can attack him with these tanks. I don't know whether we'll do it. Nope. Okay, we, uh, we do have them. Yeah, our troops are our troops because our troops are, are suffering from supply issues. We've not got any action points. That's the problem there. Now we we could potentially get these guys in a pocket. And uh, look at this. They've actually got a bunch of tanks here, and they're in a bad position. They're in, they're really in a bad position. Uh, I think we could probably defeat them. Unfortunately, we don't have the action points to move in into these mountains because everybody's uh, they're they're not getting their food. So let's just see what's going on with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we've we've actually got these guys off our line. Um, they can't move. No, attacking into here. I'm gonna move these guys back. Put the demon hunters in here. Oh, I got some GR Grey uh, Gladius. These things are pretty good. Now, uh, they've got a fair amount of action points. Look, these guys don't though, uh, they're, and they're not going to take. They're not going to take these guys with with just four tanks. But oh, they are very experienced. 
They got high velocity guns though. Yeah, there's not a chance. I'm not worried about that. Okay. Uh, next turn we'll get we'll get supplies through there. Uh, let's just have a look at the uh, decisions this turn. A motion that the number of leaders in our service goes up to 29. Okay, we only need one leader for that. That's quite easy. A new director for the Model Design Council. Now, we are going to take out... Who was it we were going to do with, with this? Um, it was this guy, wasn't it? It was, um, it was Vince Clark, the governor of Marolette. Yeah, look, he's got 81 technician. He's capability too. He's going to be really, really good in this role. Um, so we're going to call him. And we're going to give you a better job. Okay. And there we go. He's Look, he's really, really suitable. He's more suitable than the guy we had in there. So we're going to get a better guy in model design. Next turn, we're going to have to get somebody into that uh, as the governor. Uh, Walker agitator, uh, walk, walk out agitator in Gregon. Uh, can you guys see my mouse? Yes. Okay, sorry. I've been recording some stuff where I turned off the mouse, but I think you can see it. Um, okay. Yeah, getting meritocracy would be good. I think. Profile is what I want. Yeah, no, I want to go into... Uh, no, I want to go into uh, democracy here. Uh, I would like martial tournaments. This is really, really good here. Um, I would also like Esprit de Corps. That 25 cent combat bonus is just not to be sniffed at. Problem is, fists kind of difficult to keep up. Unless you keep going to war with everybody. That's one guaranteed way of keep, keeping it up. Um, this is looking like it's going to be very difficult to make. Let's go with democracy instead. Oh, Give well them some go. credits. Computing node discovered in Minos. Okay. Uh, this is a good one. It gives you 50 bureaucratic points per turn. This is not 50 bureaucratic bonus points. This is actually straight up 50 bureaucratic points. Uh, we want this. Now, these guys like this decision. They want me to scrap it. Uh, that would give you the technology on electric engines, but yes, I'd much rather have those extra bureaucratic points in my situation. Okay, 10% uh, chance per turn of getting qual this quality of life bonus from conflict resolution here. Um, yeah, quality. Like, if we could go really high into democracy now, this would be good, I think. Because if we could get the 100% quality of life bonus, that comes from due procedure. That would be excellent. Uh, thing is, you've got to go really, really high here. You've got to get 70, and you've got to keep it as well. It's not easy. It's a, it is a monstrous bonus, though. Apply Science uh, Council Task Priorities. Um, let's just actually see what they are researching right now. They're going into armor piercing optimization. We don't need to go any further into that. Let's just change their research field. Yeah, these guys can't do the aircraft stuff. So I think... Conventional gun optimization might be good for increase, you know, better artillery. Uh, we could just go that into that for a few points. Um, the vehicle ar armor optimization is always going to be good. Solar energy efficiency could be very, very useful. Um, security, education and communication tactics is always going to be useful. I might actually do that for a few turns, just so we can increase our quality of life. In that case, um, Applied Science Council, how are we doing with regards to finding stuff? Yeah, we, we act, we've actually got a fair amount of stuff that we could uncover. Oh no, they've got prerequisites. But these ones, these two can be found, so can these. Uh, we quite like cross fertilization. You know, I'm, I think we're going to actually put this into about the, maybe split it to about thirty three, thirty three percent into uh, discovery. Democratic activists request asylum. Um, Dunkel start. We don't want to be at war with anyone else. By the way, we've got another war brewing on the east. I think and these guys are cold. Uh, we don't. We don't have any more information on them. Uh, yeah, let's just not even, we're not, we'll, Understood. no, we did lose a bunch of democracy there. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, but I didn't really want to, I, I, th I think, yeah, we've lost that chance now. The problem is, you see, I had, I kind of had to do that because, um, I have been, keep, I've taken my eye off the ball here when it comes to Sansaria and it looks like these guys are every, they, you know, they're dropping, they're dropping their relations with us every turn. I'm going to have to be paying them in order to, to bring this back up. Um, 
Yeah, and I kind of need to take the... I really, really need to pay my workers less as well. Now, at the moment, we can't afford to do that because if we do that, uh, our, everything's going to, you know, plummet. Uh, well, not everything's going to plummet. Sorry, worker happiness is going to plummet, and that's really, really bad. However, they are we are paying them a huge amount, and I can't afford it. Yeah, it's a real problem. Because let me... Oh, by the way, I, I can't remember who it was now. Let me just have a look at this. Um... Yeah, it, this is Jay Heriter again. We're saying at least every few episodes. Could you take a moment to show the strategic map at the beginning? It would at least help. It would help at least me as a viewer to see what's going on in the world level occasionally. Okay, so here's here's what's going on with the uh, the, the main map at the moment. Here's the regimes. Here's Goldstone, very very large. Uh, then we've got Brown Bond, Dunkel Start here in the in the bottom. Now they are a militarist. They're not really likely to be friends with us. Yeah, we we got we got a bunch of tough ones. The, uh, these ones are the ones we need to change. Um, I'm actually, I think what we need to do with those guys, we need to get some more, I don't think we've got air, yeah, we need to get some covert ops in, so let's send some spies in. Copy that. Okay, critical success. Copy that. Okay, I just want to get a bunch of spies into, into their area. Copy that. Okay, um, and then we want to play support faction. Copy that. Okay, success. So, that's going to enable us to try to switch them back to having the real politicers. And then, real politicers, uh, what am I talking about? So, I think I looked at this last turn, but they've actually got the corporatists in power at the moment, and we need to get real politicers in because these guys, corporatists, are much, are much less likely to. They're going to go to war with us if they see an opportunity, whereas real politicers will think about it twice, basically. Where well, corporatists are all about money. If they If they think that they can get something off me, then they're going to do it. Um, I think this. I think we need to now save our recruits, and we need to put up a brigade here, because I think these guys are going to attack. And if they do, there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, let's just push these guys' territory back a little bit. Okay. Mission accomplished. I'm gonna push those spiders back. Uh, what do we got here? First Infantry Motorized Machine Gun Regiment. Okay, looks like we can get an encirclement here. I don't think we'll kill. I don't think we'll be able to do this. We might end up getting encircled here ourselves, but. We should be able to fight, fight our way out of it. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, they've come down with a whole big, big brigade of these things. Do it, do it now. In fact, it's not even, you know, it's not a brigade, sorry, but it's like a regiment-sized unit. Yeah, it is a regiment-sized unit. Look. Okay, actually lost some troops there. We lost the GR stuff. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of these guys. I think we need to do something about these. But what what are you going to do? I mean, move these up to Glogon now. Not much we can do on this line. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I'll bring these in here on the, on the ruins. I'll just keep them there. Okay. Now, there is an airbase here, but I don't think it's... Yeah, we want to moth... Oh, we have mothballed it. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm getting into the habit now of mothballing all the stuff that's, you know, we're not being able to use. By the way, we definitely need to just make a few more machines. Wow, that's a lot of rares aye, aye, though. Sir. Might actually be cheaper to be buying the machines at this point. Yeah, but way cheaper. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, even at 320 each. Let's sell some fuel. Aye, aye, sir. 
Water we don't want to sell because we're going backwards there. Sell 15 metal though. Aye, aye, sir. Into the market. Okay. Traders don't have much money. But that's made us some cash. Uh, all, along with the... I'm going to try to show you the Empire dashboard a little bit more often as well. Bureaucratic points are going up. Look, that's good. Uh, does that mean that we completed a bureaucratic office? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, we got another one going up here. Hospital was completed in Minos' turn. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. And by the way, power has gone right up. So we need power banks to be completed. Yeah, it's going to be completed next turn. So we have... Look, we... we yeah, we actually lost 55 due to max storage. Yeah, we, we made like... like so this this uh, this volcanic energy plant is powering up big time. I probably want to upgrade that again um, pretty pretty quickly. Yeah, because we're creating two... It's creating nearly 300. Um, it's using water though. That's the only thing about that. So we probably want to increase... Yeah, maybe get people working back in our rice mines. Let's uh, use the proper tool for this. Go to assets and mining. You know, mining assets. So here, look, we want to put this one back up. We'll, we're going to put the production of this one back up to 100%. Uh, we've also got this ice mine at Hollister. Um, yeah, I'll keep this mothballed for the time being. Uh, we've got an ice mine here. I'm going to, again, I'll keep this one mothballed. I'll let these guys just use this one here. They can. That, that's good for them to be uh, making money in Neris. Uh, I'm not actually building any more assets now. They're probably just spending their money on... What are they spending their money on? Luxuries. Okay. Yeah, that's why... Yeah, look. Uh, the, their, their happiness is really, really high in Neris at the moment. That's good. Okay. What are we building here again? Yeah, we're building Vidcom Station and a university. Oh wow, D am I doing those both at the same time? I didn't mean to do that. I think I, got, I went a little bit crazy. Yeah, let's just uh, show the stuff that's on here. Hospital finished, power bank's going up. Uh, I think... Well, we've got the... Yeah, I mean, we'll probably put a Vidcom yes, Station sir. up here next as well. Just so we are really going with the quality of life. Try and get the uh, the, the zone, you know, the happiness up. Because once the quality of life goes up, we can start dr dr slowly reducing the amount of money that we're spending. Fortunately, we are a bit of an economic powerhouse in terms of our resource richness. So that should be, that should keep us going. We probably want to put some, I want to put a mine up here soon. Yeah, we've, okay, so we've turned off that scab furnace. That's good. Um, in that case, we probably want to put... Okay, we got enough people here in Ogolar Ruins now. Um, where was it we were struggling to keep people? I think it was down here, wasn't it? In Myolette. Yeah, look, uh, we can't even get the railhead going. So let's let's send some workers there. Can't send a hundred, and send a hundred colonists there as workers. Uh, I think it's 200 you need for the railhead. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, uh, they need 200 workers. Okay, so we'll send some more workers into Maolet. Um What other assets have we got here? Yeah, we have got solar panels here. I think we'll probably start building up a, a level 1 power bank here as well. Uh, we won't do it this turn. But we'll get one up eventually. Uh, Gwegon. Yeah, they're just building a barracks, but that's going to be... They're saying that's going to be two turns. Yeah, we want that. We do want that to go in. Maybe we send... How many colonists have we got here? Oh, some of them are melting away. Yeah, it's because we've got danger. It's a bit of a problem. I wonder if we've got any stratagem cards we can play. I don't think we've really got the political points, though. In fact, unfortunately... Yeah, it's going to be difficult. Uh, it's not worth spending the uh, money on it. Uh, sorry, the political points on I don't think.
What are we like with our ca casualty threshold? Just out of interest. Pretty damn close. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna cause us problems. Let's play for all four fronts. Okay. All right. Um. Let's continue pushing him on these guys. Oh, they can't attack. Garbage dump. Research bonus points, 40%. That's pretty good. Let's send these bikes back up here. Uh, I think we're about done here. I don't... Um, I, with this... Kind of just need to get more... You know, we, we need to wait for our troops to... See how much their readiness is kind of high. whole lot of troops down here too. Ah, Dunkel Start. I look like they're pushing in on them. Ah, Dunkel Start, look. Dunkel Start are really pushing on them. Okay, this kind of changes things. I didn't notice this. Look, Dunkel Start um no, that's Brown Bond. But Dunkel Starts are here at least Dunkel Start, sorry, are here at least. Get a sp some spies in there. Oh, we need to get some spies in there as well. And that's basically going to be all my political points this turn. Copy that. Okay. Um. Okay, these guys have got a little bit more readiness. Their morale's still quite low. What's the, what's your problem? Why is the national natural point low? Okay, she likes autocracy and enforcement. That's why. And she's got an advisor attached. Okay, we need to raise her loyalty. And relation. Look, she's a really really good leader. I want to keep her happy. Uh, we can't do it this turn. Yeah, she's re her, her leadership's going up as well. This is really good. She's going to be a really good leader. Like, I, she should be keeping morale quite high. Um, but I think they've lost a few wars. These uh, lost a few battles. These guys. Uh, we don't have the political points for it now. I think. What, maybe, Maybe what I'll do is next turn. Um, I feel like we should do something here. Let's see if we can destroy. Okay, there we go. Finally destroyed that troublesome group. Um, they were a real. They were a real pain, man. Now let's just take this out temporarily. They're the ones on defence. Let's move these HQs up here. Yeah, I mean, look, we've... Those aren't the best odds, to be honest. Um, if we had a better... You know, if we had a... Let me just have a look. Have we got actually got a HQ stratagem? No. I've used all my stratagems, mostly, so...
I think they'll struggle to shift what we've put here. And these guys, uh, they're sat on a farm, so they're not going to starve. They are on an agridome. So this is not the best pocket, to be honest. But we are putting pressure on them, and that's what I want. I think keeping pressure on them is important. What, what I really need is some artillery, and I think... Can we actually raise any here? No, we haven't got the political points. I'll just check that, didn't I? Anyway, folks, um, I'm, I'm musing a little bit too much, so I'm just going to end the turn.